Hello. I attended the public lecture of Chief Meteorologist and Astronomer Glenn Burns. Glenn Burns has been the Chief Meteorologist for Atlanta for the past 35 years. Um, originally from San Francisco, where he and his, where his father worked at a news station, um, Glenn would sometimes go to the station with him, and that's how it kind of sparked his interest in astronomy and meteorology, and also news. Um, Glenn's work with his father, um, yeah, sparks interest in news. Um, so my original interest in this lecture was um, was because I love space, and I heard this lecture was being given. Um, do the 10th anniversary of the Georgia Tech Observatory, um, and I'm fascinated by space, so I, was, I really wanted to learn more about it in any way possible. Um, so Glenn, I found out, was also very interested in space, which is a big reason why I became a meteorologist. He, uh, one, of the, one of the things that sparked his interest in space was due to his love for Star Trek, uh, more specifically the character Spock. He really liked Spock. Uh, in fact, he almost got Wil William Shatner, the original Spock, to come to uh, the talk, but he couldn't make it, so he wrote a letter instead, which uh, uh, Glenn Burns read to the audience. Um, so his talk wasn't really physics-related. It was, uh, and he didn't really discuss his work. It was mostly about, like, kind of the politics of meteorology and his life experiences and kind of the connections he's made and the people he's met and... Um, so some of the people, some of some of the people he's met um, through his work as a meteorologist, such as Carl Sagan. Um, he met Buzz Aldwin at um, at the research center in New Mexico. Um, yeah, it, it there wasn't really much physics involved, um, but he, he did talk about his personal experiences. He studied astrophysics at the University of Minnesota, and uh, prior to that, he studied journalism at the University of Florida. Um, definitely well educated. Um, I didn't, I didn't really learn much about astronomy or physics or anything throughout his talk. Um, I guess I could say that I learned that, um, that life as a meteorologist is enjoyable and full of cool opportunities to make connections and meet people. Um, but yeah, he really just, he didn't really go into depth of, what he does for his job. He, mo he mostly talked about uh, the political side of meteorology and kind of what meteor and how that all works. Um, afterwards, I, I was interested in what meteorologists did, so I kind of followed up and I learned that meteorologists, um, their main job is to analyze weather conditions and um, kind of follow severe weather patterns and climate change. Um, so I thought that was interesting. But overall, um, I didn't. I I certainly didn't learn much about physics. He was. It was. It was an enjoyable talk. Um, it was cool to kind of just hear what he'd done, where he'd been, and what meteorologists do. But um, I didn't really get a physics takeaway from it or an astronomy takeaway. Um, but it was still um, interesting, and I enjoyed the lecture.